guys, today I'm going to show you how you can shabby chic your furniture and make it look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to be telling you what you need as we go along, but I will also write a list in the description below. The first thing you're going to need is obviously some furniture, and this is what we're using. It's just a little table that we got second hand from a furniture shop. As you can see, it's looking a bit battered and it's got some damage on the top as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a block like this and some coarse sandpaper, wrap it around the block and start sanding. You can get sandpaper and blocks like this at most DIY stores. Here you can see the difference between sanded and not sanded. Do this all over the table until all the varnish is sanded off. Then when it's sanded, give it a quick wipe down and you can start painting. We're using house paint, so the same kind of paint that you would use on the walls or the ceilings. And it's from Wilkinson's and it's in the colour Twine. You just want to paint this on using the appropriate brush size depending on how big your furniture is. Let the first coat dry and then do another coat. If your piece has detail in it like ours does you can do what we're doing. We took a small screwdriver and scratched away the paint in the grooves. This makes the detail stand out and makes the piece look a bit more antique. Another thing you can do to make it look older is take some fine sandpaper on the same block you used earlier and just buff off some of the paint on the corners and the edges where the paint would naturally come off through use. And when you finish with that, brush off any dust that might have fallen. Then the next thing we do to add a bit of character and protect the furniture is we use furniture wax. Take an old cloth or a piece of fabric, wipe it through the wax and then wipe it onto the surface. The next thing we're going to do is cover the top of the table because it's got some damage. And what we're going to be using to do this is Fablon, also known as sticky back plastic. And the first thing we're going to do is measure out the size of the top of the table. Then cut out a template in paper and check that it fits. When you've done that, roll out your Fablon and we're just using spice jars to hold down the corners. Then put your template in the corner and draw around it. And when you've done that, cut it out. The way Fablon works is it has a bit of film on the back and you pull that off and then it's sticky underneath. When applying it to the top of the table, you want to peel and fold a strip of the film backwards. Line it up and slowly pull the film from underneath while pressing down the Fablon as you go. And when you've pulled out all the film, rub it down, making sure to get out any air bubbles and making sure it goes into the corners and the edges. And that's it, you're done. You can always add a piece of glass on the top if you'd like to, but that's it, it's pretty simple. And that's it, I hope you liked it and I hope it was easy to follow. Remember to comment and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. And you can follow me on all my social networks which are always listed in the description below. And that's it, thank you very much for watching, I love you guys, bye!